Hello darlings, Miss Lucy Olive here and this video is going to tell you why you would benefit from having a kinky life coach. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with what is a kinky life coach? A kinky life coach is somebody who is there to guide, support and mentor you through any goals or issues you have, vanilla or kink wise. It's a professional relationship and of course, with any kind of coaching or mentoring dynamic, there's a contract, there's goal setting, and it's very more, it's a lot more laid back than the average life coach because there's a kink element in there. So for example, I studied at university for five years. I gained my qualifications as a therapist. I'm also, as you know, a kinky individual. I'm a dom, I run kink businesses. I have combined the two very beautifully, which enables me to help people explore themselves, get rid of kink guilt, be who they're meant to be, live a life where they're true to themselves and have fun along the way. So I have a lot of clients who come to me who maybe enjoy cross-dressing in secret and they can come to me fully dressed as they wish and there's no judgment, I'm fully understanding of it and I think it's a really healthy basis to have. Now I briefly brushed on what a kinky life coach does and I'm going to go through a few different things as to what I do with my clients that may benefit yourself and just to spread awareness that out there there is support and help for people who may be feeling a certain way and not know what to do about it. So, of course, kink guilt is huge. A lot of people have secret kinks and fetishes. A lot of people cross-dress in secret. And having someone to talk to who understands that area can be really, really positive and a sense of relief as well to share that with someone where you know it's not going to go further and you can be your true, authentic self. Another thing, goal setting and goal meeting. So you may have things you want to achieve in the kink world that you haven't done yet. I would help implement steps and realistic ways to get there. We would look at what you've done before, what hasn't worked, what you'd like to try next, what are the safest ways to do so. Using my resources and connections, we would get you to a place where you would be where you want to be. Maybe you are just a kinky person who needs help in vanilla life and that is absolutely fine. Being a kinkster, it's um, a common ground. So you may feel more comfortable talking to a kinky life coach than you would say a high street clinical life coach because we kind of have the understanding of, I know what you get up to, I know what you enjoy and we can either implement both and have fun along the way or just simply focus on vanilla but you would have no judgment there or anything like that so that's quite an important one because the no judgment thing a lot of people don't want to approach someone because they think that their kink or fetish may be perceived as weird or strange whereas if you came to myself or another kinky life coach it would be very much understood and applauded to be honest maybe you need some guidance on how to do things that you don't know how to do and being a dom or a kinky life coach in general they tend to have that experience there of the bdsm kink world so we could give you steps on how to achieve what you want to achieve either by suggesting certain toys or clothing or accessories making sure you're safe while you're doing so it's a very close-knit dynamic that you would feel safe in and that is also really important too. Just a disclaimer by the way, if you are looking for a kinky life coach, obviously that's what I do, but always make sure that the kinky life coach you're going to is qualified. You can ask for their certificates and they will have them. If they don't, then you kind of have to look for red flags because there are a lot of doms out there who may claim to be qualified in certain areas, but they're not. So always have your wits about you, as we say here in England, and do your research into the person, make sure they know what they're doing, make sure they're doing things like having a contract, looking at your goals before you disclose any personal and 
you know, sensitive information.